Here's another one. Well then, that concludes this audition. We'll contact you individually with your results after some time. Thank, Thank you, sir. sir. Take care now. Thanks for everything. Thank you for staying so late. Thank you so much. See you. Excuse me? Yuko-san? It was from the studio. Hey! What? What's going on? Hey, have you heard that rumor? Huh? Which Hello? one? When you look at some website at midnight, oh, there's this know. weird video that plays on its own. It's hard to really make out much here. at first, but you can yeah, totally, you totally see should. this idol who should be dead dancing in it. When you watch the video to the end, supposedly you get taken away to the other side and you never wake up. Don't worry. This is merely a dream. The you in the real world is sound asleep. Having said that, you're no guest of this room. Perhaps you've gone astray in your dream and wandered into a realm beyond your ken. This is the Velvet Room.
a place that exists between dream and reality, mind and matter, normally. Only those who have agreed upon some form of contract may come here. But nothing meaningless happens in this room. If you are here, there must be a reason for it. Very well. I'll use this as an opportunity to tell you of a guest we once hosted here. Yes, I know just whose story to relate. <laughs> this is the tale of an unforgettable guest who kindled within my heart a flame that none of our countless visitors could match. I knew him as Yu Narukami. In overcoming a terrible ordeal that befell a certain town, he formed an irreplaceable bond with his friends. The power of their bond supported them. Through every trial, even when facing an adversary with inhuman powers, they remained undaunted throughout. <laughs> you seem perplexed. I'm not surprised. You could have no notion of what I'm speaking of, after all. In that case, I will show you a glimpse into the story after they overcame their ordeal. To be clear, this is not the story of the ordeal they faced. Hmm. <laughs> One might think of it as a festival that they performed in, at the risk of their own lives. This sounds very late. It's past time for our lesson already. No text or voicemail from her. What about you? Me neither, it seems. I wonder if something happened. But in that case, I think you'd be the first one Risei san would contact, Senpai. Should I give her a call? No, we can wait a little longer. Her work schedule is tight to begin with. It's us who are imposing on her time. Or, rather, it's me. This still seems so hard to believe. For me, of all people, to be standing in a production studio awaiting dance lesson. I couldn't have pictured it either, if it wasn't for Risei's comeback performance. The Love Meets Bonds Festival. They're calling it LMB for short, correct? It seems to be a momentous occasion. I've heard TV crews will be there on the day of the concert. Uh, ballroom dancing I could have managed, but I'm entirely useless at this. I felt much more at ease fighting monsters in a strange world than I feel here. Risei-san, oh, thank goodness you're all right. My last meeting just wouldn't end. Were you... You might say that. I'm sorry, senpai. I really am. Will you forgive me? We don't hold it against you. With the music festival right around the corner, you must be overwhelmed with all the preparations. After all, it's not just we two you've been supervising. I've heard that you're making time to give lessons to the others in Inaba as well. Just a minute ago, she was going on and on about throwing. It was like I wasn't in the room. I was serious. 
We'll show her. We're gonna pull this off whatever it takes, and then she'll see how amazing all of you are. You're a true professional. My hat is off to you. So come on, let's get this rehearsal start. Oh good, all three of you are here. Inoue-san, what's up? Wait, is that you, Nozomi? Oh my gosh! Hey girls, it's been forever! I'm sorry to interrupt your practice, Yukun and Naoto-kun. Ah, Rise-san's manager. Could you spare a moment of your time? There are some people I'd like to introduce you both. They're another idol group with Taku. Allow me to introduce Nozomi Nakahara, Tamami Wesuki, Tsumomo Ujima, and Tomoe Sa. These are the next generation of idols, following in Rise-chan's footsteps. on TV before. As I recall, they're members of Kanamine Kitchen. Wow, Naoto-kun, that's right. You sure do your homework on this stuff. But it's just you four? Where's Konami? Konami-chan's doing PR right now for her solo photo book that's out soon. You know, Inoue-san, you've been pushing Konami too much lately. I don't think having her take on every job she's offered is a good thing. You don't mince words, do you, Tomoe-chan? Well, I have to be direct. LMB is just around the corner. Do you understand that even now we're behind on rehearsing? Oh, I do. Trust me. I know how big that event is going to be for your group. Hey, I want to do photo book work, too. I want to... All right, Tomomo-chan, just calm down. If a job like that comes in, I'll make sure you get a crack at it. This is... Uh, what? Am I the... Oh, uh, no. Uh, that wasn't my intent at all. Hmm. So this guy's you, son? I'm you, Narukami. It's nice to meet you. Whoa. Listen to this guy. Aren't you a tad too composed? You seem way too cool. I don't... Jeez. There she goes. I'm sorry, senpai. She's always quick to pick fights with anyone and everyone. Just you wait, Yusan. The next time I see you, I'll have a herd of boys with me. All of them better and dreamier than you. It'll be a boy trail that goes so far back you can't see the end. Like a goldfish's you-know-what. I'm sorry, Tamami-chan isn't very good at metaphors. Hey, why'd you go with you-know-what? Are we not supposed to say goldfish poop? Well, I don't think saying poop in and of itself would damage an idol's image. Though, when you go out of your way to avoid saying it like that, it just calls more attention to it. Shut up! Jeez, oh, get me back in the guys! Oh, Jeez! I, 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 Come now, everyone. A lady should always be graceful. I'm pleased. It's an honor to make your acquaintance. I yes, well then. All right, that's enough, everyone. They're just amateurs, so try not to bother them too much. Oh, it's no bother. We're fine. Right, Senpai? Yeah, it's no trouble. Such a mature response. I like what I'm seeing. Okay, that's enough. You two gotta know when to put the brakes on these girls. If you don't, you'll never hear the end of it. Oh? Who are these people anyway, Risei-senpai? And there's more coming, right? I, I heard they're your friends, but they're not your boyfriend. Of course not. I mean, how would that even be possible? But they are all important to me. They're my friends, more precious to me than anything.
friends, huh? <laughs> that sounds so n- Then again... <laughs> you could say you, Senpai, is special to me. Ooh, is that so? No, is that so? <laughs> That's a big no-no, Risei Senpai. <laughs> You're in trouble. <laughs> Risei-san? Oh, dear. Well, I guess if anyone can get away with it, it's you, Risei-cha. That reminds me, Inoue-san. You're done introducing everyone, right? We need to get started on our lesson. You're right. We ought to get going in that case. Everyone, let's break until the evening interview. Could you stay in your dressing room so I can come get you later? Okay. Please excuse us. Oh, yes. The TV spot for LMB is going to start airing today. You should let everyone know. It'll be broadcast across Japan, so they should be able to see it at Inaba, too. Nice. Thanks, Inoue-san. A TV commercial. Well, that's what we filmed the other day, yes? It's really going to appear on TV. Is it finally hitting you? That's right, all our smiling faces will be on TVs all across Japan. So there's no backing out of this now, okay, Natoku? Come now, you needn't say it like that. I'll email everyone about the ad later. Let's get practicing. I'm sure they'll be watching even if we don't tell them about it. <laughs> on that point, I agree. I doubt they'd ever miss festivities like this. Let passionate songs and dance echo across the world. In addition to this all-star cast, there will be special guests. The talented devilish idol, yeah! Lise Kujikawa. <laughs> the meaty idol group, Konami Mashita and Konami Kitchen. <laughs> Come join us at LMB Festival. We'll form a passionate bond with you all. Our meat's extra yummy, so... Enjoy every large flat! Oh, there we are! Where, where? Right there! Huh? Yeah, but you sail on large flat screen TVs today. Mommy, don't look at A bit. <sighs> this is this is intense. I didn't envision it to be this tough. Well, there's your problem. You're thinking too much. You stiffen up like that. Some skill is necessary, of course, and you have to factor in the choreography too. But once you have that, all you need to do is show how you feel by moving with the music. Is that how it works? You, Senpai, what do you think about when you dance? I don't think of anything, really. I'm just having fun. That's how it should be. Dancing isn't just about moving to the rhythm. It's expressing yourself and your feelings to the people watching you. If you're trying to get across the message that this is fun, then us dancers need to be having more fun than anyone. Expressing one's feelings, huh? That makes a kind of sense now that you explain it. In ancient times, Dancing was a form of culture developed as a means of expressing one's faith and ideals without words. So then, it's not a matter of being good or bad at it. I must instead learn how to express myself without fear. Come on, Naoto-kun! You're still overthinking it! It's like what Chie Senpai always says. Don't think, feel. In your case, you just gotta loosen up and enjoy yourself. Don't worry if you do a move wrong. Okay, let's try it from the top one more time. Already? Uh, It's Yosuke. I need to step out for a bit to take this. Okay, then we'll start right after you come back. Oh, I'm saved. Uh, 
Hello? Yo, partner. Are you okay to talk right now? Yeah, it's fine. Good. Dude, we saw the commercial. We all gathered around the TV at Juness when it was on. Man, seeing that stuff got us all pumped up. Are we all celebrities now? Maybe I should start working on my autograph. That might be a good idea. Anyway, we're heading over there tomorrow. We leave first thing in the morning, so I'm sure we'll get there before noon. <laughs> Just wait until you see where all our training has gotten us. I look forward to it. What the... Dude! Teddy, hold your horses. You'll get your turn. So, hey! Hello, is this Sensei? I'm doing very well. Oh, yeah? I'm glad to hear that. That should be interesting. Nana-chan and Pops are coming too, of course. Hmm, let's see, what other news is there? like you two are still getting along. What gave you that idea? Anyway, that's the gist of it. We're coming tomorrow. Tell Risa and Nauto we said hi. See ya! See you tomorrow. Huh? Are you done with the studio, you cook? No, not yet. I was just taking a call. Ah, oh, I see. By the way, I'm sorry about the commotion this afternoon. Is Risa chan still with you? Yes. She's helping us rehearse. That reminds me. I don't think I've thanked you yet. I'm still surprised that you agreed to perform. Would you like some coffee? Thank you. I never thought we'd be asked to perform with Risei in her comeback show. Risei John insisted on it as soon as her spot at the festival was decided. As close as you all are to her, you're still just ordinary folks. To be honest, I was against it at first. Seeing you rehearse convinced me. I knew then this would be a great show. Is that so? <laughs> I've been working in this industry for quite a while now, you know. I've developed a sixth sense as a manager. There's no question that Risei Chan changed after getting to know you all. She always had something special that shined from within, but I feel like that's been polished to an even brighter gleam. When Risei Chan's with you, she seems to glow even more than usual. That's why I decided to place my bets on all of you. Give you a place on the reborn Risei Kujikawa's big debut. We'll do our best. <laughs> I hope I'm not just putting more pressure on by telling you this. I'm serious though, there's no need to worry. We're professionals. If you and your friends give 100%, then we'll amplify that energy and put on a hell of a show for the audience. As your friend's manager, I'll give you all the support I can as well. Thank you. Oh, I forgot I was in a hurry. I'll talk to the management, so go ahead and keep using the studio. Make sure you're not up too late, though. I understand. Oh, it's probably not. You haven't seen the Kanamine Kitchen Girls, have you? Or someone that looked like them, maybe? No, I haven't seen them. The only time I did was when you were introducing us. That's all right, then. I'm sorry if I said anything to worry you. Well, I should head to a meeting now, so I'll see you later. Hmm. Are you face first? Oh, someone saw me. I'm sorry. I'm it's nothing. I'm fine. I'll leave. 
Quietly, come with- And with that, I am gone! Hey, there you are, senpai! Welcome back. Here it is! The pre-LMB report! Wow, somebody's already uploaded the vid! Sure enough, it's the girls we met earlier. We're live with the members of Kanamine Kitchen. Any comments for your fan? Yes. Well then, I'm Tomoe Sayama, your soft lamb. I may be a bit gamey, but one bite and you'll be hooked. Come to Love Meets Bonds, and I'll see to it you have the time of your life. Hiya! I'm Tamami Uesugi, your fluffy hen and delicious to the bone. I'm always number one, and so's my soup stock. I'm in this thing, so you better come see me. If you don't, I'll never speak to you again. I'm Samomo Ujima, everyone's pick lift. I'm a pudgy ball of fun who rolls around all day, every day. <laughs> Yay! Come play, everyone! If you don't spend time with me, I'm gonna cry! I am Nozomi Nakahara, your noble stag. As powerful as I am beautiful, my gallantry will sweep you off your feet. I look forward to an amazing night spent together. This Love Meets Bonds Festival will be a special day for ourselves and you. I suppose it's unique, but... Well, their whole shtick as an idol group is that they're all edible meats. Edible meats? The, they're up for consumption? <laughs> yeah. There's so many idols nowadays, you won't survive if you don't stand out from the crowd. Though that's not the only thing they have going for them. The battle between the corrupt, impossibly demanding producer and the poor, hard-working idols. That's another angle they're taking that's got them a lot of their current popularity. A corrupt producer? Is that a common problem in the world of showbiz? Oh no, it's not actually like that. That's just another strategy to get them over with the public. Then again, knowing her, I have to wonder if there isn't some truth to it. I is that so? It's the same one who's the overall producer of LMB. It just goes to show that it takes all kinds in this business. Then let's finish up with a word to the fans from Konami-san. Oh, of course. Um, is around here okay? I've seen her on TV before. That's Konami Mashita. She's the lead member of Konamine Kitchen. While I was on break, they started calling her the next Rosette. It's frustrating, but she's definitely hot right now. Even with my comeback, I keep wondering if I can come out on top anymore. Wait a sec. Okay, she's definitely had a boob job. Hello, I'm Konami Mashita, your prize cow. My meat is marbled, my movement is slow, and I sleep off every meal. Everyone, join me in wishing that the weather will be bright and sunny on the day of the festival. It's been hot lately, and we all get sweaty in the sun, so make sure you bathe and brush your teeth while you're at it. Thank you, Conamine. And I take it you all have some closing remarks? Of course. Well then, everyone, on the day of LMB, our meat will be extra delicious. So, enjoy every last bite. That's all for our pre-Love Meets Bonds Festival report. Konami-san wasn't with the group when we saw them this afternoon. noe san mentioned she was doing PR for her solo photo book. To be honest, Konami sells much more than the other four. I mean, the group's named after her. I've been feeling this way since filming the TV commercial, but all those appearing on stage for this event will be industry professionals, no? Maybe amateurs like us shouldn't participate in this after all. There you go with that again. Don't worry about it. When it comes to outsized personalities, we're a match for Konami's group. 
I'm not so sure that's something to be proud of. Me neither. I, I said you'll be fine. Anyway, it's getting late. Why don't we get in one last run through before calling it a night? It's that late already? Yosuke Senpai and the others will be here tomorrow. We'll want to be as ready as we can for the joint rehearsal. Well, that being said, I'm utterly spent. Please, let me sit out on this one. What? Seriously? Okay, then go ahead and kick back now, Tokun. You still got some juice left, though, right, you senpai? Honestly, I'm running pretty ragged, too. <laughs> You'll give this last one everything you got, right? All right, you senpai. Let me know when you're ready to start. Showtime! Hello, everyone! Professor Teddy here! While Sensei and the others are learning their steps... <sighs> Good job! We haven't been practicing long, and you've improved so much already! Oh, that was amazing to watch, Senpai. I must improve my own performance to match. Miss Ochimizu? Indeed. It was most impressive. I even left my meeting early to see for myself how things were going. Do you need something? We're in the middle of rehearsal. I wouldn't have come if I had no business here. How low Takara Productions has fallen. I only permitted this farce because Inoue begged me. Rise Kujikawa. Don't tell me that you intend to put these children on a stage. They're barely at the level of a school performance. I think I explained before, but we have the organizer's approval for my friends to come on stage with me. My fans are cheering for us, and my agency made the call that this will be a good way to push my name. Yes, I'm sure your fans would say that. Though I'm curious to know what the fans of the other idols, who have no interest in Rise Kujikawa, would think of it. That's... My apologies. I retract the question. It's useless asking you anyway, as you're nothing but a pretty face. Nothing but... that's just rude! What good can come of complaining to a plastic dress-up doll? Your puppet masters are the ones who should know their place. That would be Inoue, or in fact, Takura Productions as a whole. What? We'll get it done. All of us. I hope you'll see. Oh, I will. You can count on that. I don't intend to compromise on quality, even if I must work with amateurs. No event that I produce will feature any perfunctory performances. Practice until you drop. You're free to make a fool of yourself in here, but no mistakes will be tolerated on stage. Rise Kujikawa. Depending on what happens, I may have you pair up with Konami at LMB. The new set list will be released tomorrow. Once it's settled which way we'll go, I'll contact Inoue about our decision. Huh? Wait, what? I don't understand what you're talking about! You don't need to understand. Just do what you're told. I've already discussed this with Takara Productions. If we go that direction, then your friend's presence won't be required. Excuse me, but our friends will be here tomorrow. They're traveling quite a distance just to perform at this festival. My sincerest apologies for that. We'll have seats reserved so that they may enjoy the concert. What was that about? I'm gonna go have a talk with Inoue-san about this. Risei-san, she's gone. What's going on here? Uh, should we go after her? I'm not so sure. Even if we do, I doubt we'll learn much. Risei-san? Chimizu? Oh, you mean the producer. She left a moment ago. Man, what am I gonna do? Excuse me, but you are? Senpai, you're not gonna... Huh? Konami?
Yumi, what are you doing here? Whoa, it's Rize-senpai. Way too long time no see. Uh, sorry, Rise, but can you explain to us what's going on here? Oh, right. Let me introduce you guys. This is Konami Mashita, lead member of Konami in Kitchen. Konami-san? Wait, the same one who was in that video? <laughs> Surprise. Konami's like this whenever she's not on camera. She's all reserved and boring looking. It's a lot different than her image when she's on the job. And that's simply how it works? But she seems like a completely different person. <laughs> I get that a lot. That aside, Risei, what were you about to say before? Oh, right. I couldn't find an oe san but I overheard something weird. Weird, you say? Yeah. Have you heard anything, Konami? About Nozomi and the others disappearing? Disappeared? The Konami and Kitchen Girls? Yeah. Looks like they can't get a hold of them at all, and everyone's running around looking for them. I bet that's why Miss Ochimizu said those things earlier. I see. If they remain missing until the day of the festival, there'll be an opening in the lineup. Miss Ochimizu, worried about this possibility, mentioned her suggestion about Risei-san and Konami-san performing as a pair. But we just saw those girls this afternoon. Would the producer go to those links just because she lost contact with the group for a few hours? Probably. This is Miss Ochimizu we're talking about. I know about that discussion already. Miss Ochimizu told me It'll work out as long as you're around. Still, I can't help but worry about them. That's why I was looking for Mizo Chimizu. It'll work out. But they're the rest of your own group. And not only that, they're well-known celebrities. What if they've gotten swept up in something serious? Uh, I don't know. But she said she'll keep a lid on this until the festival's over. What? Is that what she thinks of us? Idols aren't toys that can be replaced. Hmm. If this truly is a case of them going missing, there are a number of measures we can take. First, let's speak with the event organizers and have them file a missing persons report with the police. After that... Uh, hold on a moment. Konami-san, when did they lose contact with the rest of the group? Huh? Um, not too long ago, I think. I only heard about it from Mizo Chimizu a moment ago. Like I said, we met them just this afternoon. Even if we went to the police with this, I doubt they'd pay us any mind. Plus, if this doesn't turn out to be anything serious, wouldn't it put the girls in a bad position? Oh, yeah, that's true. You're right. I gave Inoue-san a real scare a while back myself. But even then, he waited quite a while before going to the police. If he had reported me missing at the time, it could have snowballed into a much bigger problem. Oh, uh, same here. One time, I slept through a day off I finally got, and even through the day after that. My agency apologized to our partners and said I'd been laid up with a cold. Uh, all that oversleeping gave me such a headache. That's not as serious as the situation here. But you, Senpai, may have a point. Well then... Why don't we do this? If no one has heard from the rest of the group by tomorrow, we'll go ask the organizers to take the necessary steps. And if they refuse to make a move, then we'll take things into our own hands and notify the police directly. That sounds reasonable. Yosuke and the others will be here tomorrow too, along with Dojima-san. So, even if the police are out of the question, Dojima-san might hear us out? Good call, Senpai. You're so smart. You all get along so well. That's so neat. Close friends. Come on, Konami. No spacing out now. You're helping out too, okay? Huh? Wait. Really? You'll let me join you? Um, why wouldn't we? You came looking for Miss Ochimizu because you were worried about the others, no? Wouldn't that make your goal the same as ours? We won't force you, though. You decide what's best for you, Konami-san. What's best for me? I feel the same as you guys. I'm worried about them. Then you're already one of us. You're part of our circle. Oh, hooray! I made some friends! Let's meet up again once the others get here tomorrow. Oh, but you have work, right, Konami? 
Well, if anything comes up, I'll make sure to email you. Oh, uh, right. You know, Konami, you need to stop waiting for other people to speak first. You're an idol. Assert yourself more. People only think shyness is cute for so long. Yes. I'm sorry. Oh, such a harsh world they live in. All right, it's pretty late, so let's call it a night. I'm sure Naoto-kun wants to freshen up too, so... Senpai, we're gonna ask you to stay in the room next door for a little while. Let's meet back here in a bit. I... I have an early morning tomorrow, so I'll be excusing myself. I just have to sleep in the nap room. Gotcha. Let's get to it, everyone. But much as I hate to admit it, once she became the producer, Konami immediately started taking off. Sorry for the wait. Are you both done? Oh, were you talking about Miss Ochimisu? Oh, Senpai, are you ready to go? Yep, we're talking about her. She's always like that. So even though she's legit, everyone calls her corrupt. They say she's the worst producer ever. She overworks her idols and makes shameless cash grabs from the fans. Some go so far as to call her a demon or a money grubber including fans of the idols she's produced. When she started with Konami and Kitchen, she had footage shown on TV of her forcing impossible demands on those girls. I see. So by showing images of them being abused as they earnestly pursued their dreams, it would only encourage the audience to cheer them on out of sympathy. Exactly! That's the kind of thing she's good at! But doesn't it seem like cheating? Plus, if it really was all an act, I might respect it. But she's exactly the same when the cameras aren't rolling, so sometimes I seriously wonder if she's not faking it. Hmm. Having been on the receiving end, I can see why you'd think so. Right? She always makes us do insane things without running them by us. I wish she'd think about the people who actually have to do that stuff. Hmm. Then do you think she'll force us to do something too? Oh, I don't know. I mean, she's already made trouble for us. Thanks for butting into our practice and telling me to partner up with Konami without any explanations. What if Konami and Kitchen going missing is another one of Miss Ochimizu's promotional tactics? I hadn't considered that possibility. W wait, scratch that idea. Even Miss Ochimizu wouldn't go that far, I think. I see. By the by, there's something I'd like to mention which may have no bearing on this case. I heard an odd rumor regarding the festival. An odd rumor? Yes. If you go to the festival website at midnight, it plays an unusual video. The video shows an idol known to be dead dancing in it. Those who watch the video to the end are taken away to the other side and never awaken. Or so the rumor goes. W Whoa, Naoto-kun! Where is this coming from? Uh, I'm sorry, I wasn't trying to scare you. Uh, of course, I don't believe this tall tale about some dead idol. Not one bit. Now, Tokun, you're scared, huh? Yes, but that isn't important. I didn't bring this up to talk about that. Go yes, anyway. There's something that disturbs me about this rumor. What's that? Well, doesn't it seem a bit similar to our prior experiences? When you look at a switched-off TV at midnight on a rainy day, you'll see your soulmate. You're talking about the Midnight Channel. Of course, it's hard to say how much we can trust these sorts of rumors. On the other hand, this particular rumor has some troubling aspects to it. S such as? There have been genuine victims. And their numbers have been rapidly increasing. Though naturally, there's no proven correlation between the victims and the rumor. It's quite possible that the rumor sprung up in reaction to the victims. But it's a fact that a good handful of people are in a comatose state right now. A coma? Seriously? I never heard about that. Hey, is something like before happening again? There's no knowing whether this is a case yet or not. I only briefly heard about it the other day during work. I was going to look into it. And if it did turn out to be connected to that case, I thought it might be necessary for me to consult everyone about it. The LMB website at midnight, huh? It's almost midnight. Why don't we check it out for ourselves? I knew you'd say that. In all honesty, I doubt that this rumor has anything to do with the disappearances. But all the same, 
It may be faster to get to the bottom of this rumor ourselves. Wait, you want us to look at it right here, right now? Geez, fine. But we're all gonna look at it together. Senpai, you come over here. Now, Tokun, you're over there. And whatever happens, no running away, okay? Let's see. Love meets bonds. Oh, here it is, the official LMB site. The site appears to be operating normally. See? Nothing's coming up. That rumor has to be fake. Wait, what is this? They do look like human silhouettes. And they seem to be dancing, don't they? That's all of it. Th this has to be just a prank. I'm gonna check with the admins about this. Oh, <laughs> or it's part of Miss Ochimizu's PR. I bet she spread that weird rumor to get Konami's group to sell more. What's the matter, Senpai? Did you hear something just now? Yeah, I heard it too. No way. So it wasn't just me? <laughs> A voice? What is that? Come and say Kujikawa. I've prepared a place just for you. Who are you? How do you know my... Rise, Naoto, are you alright? We're okay. You're the one we're worried about. We couldn't wake you up at all. Yes. I'm glad to see you conscious as well. Though, our situation still isn't very good. It's so dark here, I can't see anything. Where are we? My guess is we're in the other world that those who see the video are taken to. It seems the rumor was true. <laughs> it's that voice! Welcome, Risei Kujikawa, to our Midnight Stage. <laughs> midnight Stage? That's right. An ideal world where no one hurts or gets hurt. I only intended to invite Risei-san here. But, oh well. I've prepared a stage for you all. Here, take a look. Together. What are you trying to accomplish? <laughs> Never mind that. I just want to connect with all of you. Look, see how many have been waiting for your comeback. Are these shadows? Come now, won't you sing? Dance for them. It'll make everyone happy.
Agatha. The shadows. Send you back? No, you're all going to dance. That's what everyone's here for, after all. <laughs> Shadow's dance is what's affecting us. You, Senpai. Right. Ready? Persona! What? Ugh. My bullets disappeared. And Senpai's Persona, too? <laughs> Is this your doing? <laughs> Don't accuse me of something I didn't do. I told you earlier, now I think it's hurt here. We need to move. The shadows are being affected by our music and movement. It's just as I thought. That eerie song we're hearing is forcing the shadows to dance. If we can interrupt that song and the shadows dance, we might get through this. But how? I don't know. But one idea comes to mind. If we can force them into a different song and dance like before, then maybe... What a child, child! No! Now, Dukun! You're connected with us! Now you can become the new everyone wants you to be! Senpai! Rizu-san, please! Stop there! Their dance! Naoto! We just have to get those shadows moving to our music, right? Rizu? Senpai... If that stuff Naoto-kun was saying is true, then there is something we can do to help her. Right now. Huh? I'll try and use my persona. M maybe I can deliver our music to those shadows at full blast. The way they reacted to my music earlier. I think I might be able to affect them a little bit. But I don't think that'll be enough. That's why I need your help too, Senpai. If music and movement affects them, then we should be able to pull them into our rhythm, right? Don't worry. Just show off your cool dance. I know you can do it, Senpai. <laughs> Get ready to dance. I can do this.
ません are going for it. Persona is the power of the heart. Depending on your heart's true nature, it changes form. Not just for hurting, and not just for fighting. Right now, I know I can show you how I really feel. We will never stop changing. Answer my call. He's a nugget! convey my feelings to those shadows. My persona responded from within me. <sighs> Way to go, Senpai! And that's why you're our leader. Only you can pull off something that amazing. <laughs> Come on. Uh, I... Nato-kun, we did it! Senpai gave him a super sweet show. I sensed it as well. That's what allowed me to return to my right mind. You sensed it? But you got caught by that ribbony thing and... Yes. Because of that, I learned something about those shadows. Really? What did you find out? When caught in that ribbon, it's as if you're forced to be the you that others desire, rather than how you perceive yourself. You're made to believe you want to be tied to the other shadows with that ribbon, even if it means discarding who you truly are. The most dreadful thing is that I myself felt sure that it was what I needed to do. That's crazy! You're no one else but you, Naoto-kun! Well, in hindsight, I can see how bizarre the assumption was. So my theory is that the ribbon has the power to induce those beliefs. Yeah, I sensed it too. While I was dancing, I felt like I couldn't let my guard down at all. That the shadows would take me if I did. That song and the shadows dance probably have a similar power. So what I did was concentrate on getting my message across as I danced. You said something like that earlier too. What did you want to tell them? I just did what you said, Risei. Dancing is about expressing yourself and your feelings to the people watching you. Right? 
So I danced to show the shadows who I am, not what they wanted to see. Huh. And as a result, I remembered who I am. It's ironic that the key to this confrontation was the true self I once tried so hard to deny. One shouldn't abandon oneself just because they've been connected to others. I feel that those shadows were released from the ribbon's binding because they sensed that as well. Um, Risei-san, you didn't get that sense from watching him dance? Uh, of course I did. I could tell his dancing was different from usual. I just couldn't put it into words because of all that persona stuff that happened. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you got the message loud and clear, Risei. The shadow's presence is fading. What's going on? It's like they're returning somewhere. Returning? To where? I don't know. But that's the feeling I get. With that weird ribbony thing gone, it seems they all disappeared from this world. Maybe they realized something wasn't right. Like you did, Naoto-kun. Yeah, let's hope so. Still, what could those shadows have been? They didn't seem quite like the shadows we knew. You again? I've had enough of this! Is your idea of eternal bonds tying up the shadows with that thing? You've got one twisted mind! That's right. If this is the connection you speak of, then it's much too one-sided. <laughs> What's so funny? It's okay. If that's what you think, then I certainly won't force you to stay here. But don't get so cocky just because you set those back. Our bonds are eternal. There are countless others to forge them with. You, are you gonna bring someone else in here? <laughs> Sorry, but you've already stepped off the stage. The next performances will be beginning soon, featuring Tamami and the others. Tamami? You don't mean... The members of Kanamin Kitchen. Did you kidnap them? <laughs> Why do you care? It has nothing to do with you. I'll try skating the area. Come, Persona! There are some places where shadows are bunched up. One, two, four total? <gasps> I found someone! Is this... Tomoe? <laughs> no playing around in the venue. It's off limits to unauthorized personnel. Ah! No! <laughs> Goodbye, Risei Kujikawa. this? Ow! Jeez! Is this how you treat an idol? Looks like we're back in the studio. So as soon as we reject the bond that voice spoke of, we're promptly asked to leave. At least we're all back safe. Uh-huh. I was honestly bracing myself for the worst. <gasps> but wait! That reading I got a second ago! It was definitely Tomoe's. I'm certain that's who I picked up on. The same Tomoe-san we met earlier? I'm pretty sure, yeah. What about the other girls? Kanamin Kitchen is Konami-san and four other members, right? I don't know. That place was a lot bigger than I thought. The only reading I picked up on in the moment I had was Tomoe's. Given what we heard from Konami-san, it's safe to assume the rest of Kanamin Kitchen disappeared around the same time. If you detected Tomoe-san's reading over there, the others are likely to have been taken as well. Yeah, Naoto's right. The rumored video clip that plays at midnight, victims who have fallen unconscious, and now a group of missing idols. This does seem to demand an investigation. First things first, though. What was that world we were in? The name Midnight Stage bothers me. There were shadows there, too. 
seemed kind of like the TV world we used to go into. And then there's that voice. It has to belong to the root of this trouble. You don't really think it's that, um, deceased idol behind this, do you? That's beyond my knowledge. Let's put that possibility aside for now. Yeah, that's not what we need to focus on right now. Mm -hmm. Either way, I can't leave them in that awful place. Please, you, Senpai, Naoto-kun, could you help me out? I want to save them. Do you even need an answer to that, Risei? I'm a bit shocked, in fact. Did you think we'd shrug it off as none of our concern? There are already victims, making this an honest-to-goodness case, and we're the only ones who can solve it. <sighs> yeah! Now that that's decided, we need a plan. Yosuke and the others will be here in the morning. I'm sure they'll help us out, too. Let's go over the case once they join us. For now, though, I think we should leave. We need our rest, after all. Right. Things are gonna get busy, so we should rest while we can. Got it! I'll go ahead and email everyone about the situation. Oh, we shouldn't drag Konami into this, huh? I feel bad, but I won't tell her anything. Yeah, I agree. It's for her own safety. Okay, so I'll just contact our gang. Well then, you two ready to go home? Yeah. Very much so. <laughs> that is how their festival began. What do you think? They faced themselves and gained the power to stand up against difficulties. But their next trial was quite different. Rather than a contest of strength, it required them to openly express themselves and convey their feelings. However, this did not deter him. And as if in response to that firmness of will, his power changed its form adapting perfectly to the new situation. <laughs> Fascinating, don't you think? By the way, have you thought about why you have found yourself here? <laughs> don't worry yourself over it. I don't have that answer for you. I asked only out of my own curiosity. Well then, allow me to show you a little more of the story. Here is where we left off with their festival. <laughs> 